Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. You've got to have the trailer selected to be able to tip, so we will dump that lot in there. I'm going to jump out a minute and I'm going to go over here and have a look. And the mixed ration feeder is the, the mixer, it's now actually mixing. We're doing work with it, so I'm going to... Jump in there and turn that one off and let the, the... I suppose really if it's tipping it shouldn't be turned off. It should still be going. Right. That's all in there and this one is now doing mixed feeding. But it's not doing anything. It's not actually producing anything yet. Although I do like this bit. This bit right here. This I like. The way that you got the three lines coming in and, and mixing like that, that is a very cool little feature. And if you look over here, you can see it mixing in underneath there. And then it comes out and that's a, a different colour to just the silage. That's the properly mixed ration. Well, it's still not actually done anything. Probably don't want to fall in there. So, yeah, well, we've still not got anything extra. I'm going to move this one out of the way a little bit so that I can keep pushing in the straw and the hay and I'll stop you over there let's just have a look in here cleanliness and water is fine hay silage I got 16,000 liters so I do want some before the end of the day these they're all right they will keep going for a minute I don't have any pigs in there just yet and then horses they're not so bad we've got a little bit low on straw so we want to go and put a bit in for them as well now we'll run back over here I'm thinking no to um, buying any more cows I was considering buying more cows I'm thinking that's something that I won't do and instead, what I think I will do is I will buy some pigs. I bought 50 sows in my um, time-lapse series. I bought 50 of them, and I've got those just ticking away. I've already, very early in the spring, and I think not even half of them have farrowed so far, uh, the sows have already gone and filled up the available space in a standard pen of 300 pigs. So, 50 sows, I don't think we need that many. I mean, I'll... I'm thinking I'll get 50 anyway, because we do have 450 spaces available in the Stevie pens. So, there is the possibility that 50 would actually be about the right number. If it turns out that it's not, if it turns out it's a few too many, then we can change it round. But I want to get those as soon as possible so that they have time to gestate and start uh, putting in... Uh, so then the little piglets can all turn up in the spring. So now is the time of year that we really want to go and buy some sows. Sows are expensive though, so we're probably going to need to borrow a bit more money to be able to do that. Let's put these two in here like this. That one's not going to fit. We, you've got to get quite close to get the hay to unload there. Or at least you have with bales. Let's dump in a couple more. Like this. Um, something I'd like to hear from you this week. Do you think I should keep going with the horses? And I know that some of you do like to see your names eventually turn up in the game with, you know, uh, with the horses. I do, I'm, I'm still going, even if I do keep going with the horses, I'm still going to be doing the names at the end of the episode. I don't do it with all of the series. Um, ones that are much more likely to see your names turn up in, um, like Factorio and Transport Fever, then I, I won't be doing it. But this one and um, Two Point Hospital and Prison Architect, I am adding everybody's name to the end of an episode. Um... Just a couple of lists of names. So I'm working my... I work my way through the Great Book of Names. So every couple of weeks you'll see your name come up if you're in the book. Um, so my question for that really is... Is that what you want? Do you want to just see that? Or do you want me to keep the horses going as well? So that you also have the chance of turning up as a named horse. Although that will take a long time. Um, that, that's definitely not something that's going to be happening overnight. With the speed that I get through them, because... It costs money to do that, and 
Um, yeah, it's, there are usually other things that we focus on while we're doing all of our farming. So, um, yeah, for that reason, it does take a while to turn up. I'll go and put that one in there like that. And then turn round. Go and put these in over here like that. There we go. I reckon that we will end up being able to get a lot more hay and straw in yet. Yeah, we could probably get another couple of loads in here. I think what I will do is I'll go and get a little bit more silage. Though I'm not too concerned about it now. Like, I've got loads in here. So it's going to take a while for that to actually convert. It. I have got some feed there. So we'll be, able, we'll be able to take a little bit of feed. So that just as so I can keep the cow... I want to just keep the cows happy. Keep them ticking over. And then we're going to want to see about getting some pigs. Now, how are we doing with pigs? I need to just double check what we've got in the way of grain. I got 170,000 litres there. We've got some beans, some sunflowers and some of those. And then we've got plenty of barley as well. It's not like we got a shortage. I do have a little bit of a shortage of oats if I want to keep horses. That's another good reason to be asking. It's because whether I'm going to bother growing any more oats or if we're going to do something different. Um, so yeah, comment section about that. Do you want me to keep going with the horses so that you can also see your names turning up as horses going through the series? Or are you quite happy to just have the one appearance um, sort of with, with the lists of names at the end of the episodes? Right, in here, I've got 5,000 litres of total mixed ration, and we have got a boatload of other materials in here. I'm thinking I will go and get one more load from here. And what I'm actually going to do is that I am also going to speed time up a little bit as well. The cows over there are going to be generating some slurry, which is good. That's, that's a good thing. We want that. We want them to generate slurry for us. And I'm going to wander through here, although I should go round the outside of that bit so I don't go over the... We, well, I suppose we could always smooth off that bump. That would be a more sensible option, is to actually smooth off the bump rather than constantly ramming our way over the top of it. And I'll bring you into here. I'll lower you down like that, and away we go. So I just nudge that up against the bottom there, and now we've got a nice height in silage clamp, so it will load up pretty quickly it'll do a pretty good job of it as well and there's a lot of yeah the, 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 the little bit round the back there if I just nudge back but there's a lot of reach on it there is quite a surprising amount of reach on this one so we're able to take quite a good bite of silage as we go through each time and I'm already nearly full I'm just going to sit here and let this one work its magic Alright, just about full now. I've sped time up a little bit more, so we're ticking along at 60 times speed just at the moment. I can stop that one there. We will back out. So, we've had a good chunk of silage out of there. We've got plenty left. I could probably put three trailer loads over into the mixed feeder without any issues. This is why I'd like a silage fermenter. I think it would end up ultimately being a bit quicker for us to do everything with a silage fermenter. Um... But we'll see. So I want to change that over to the rear one. It'll be interesting to see if we've still got only 5,000 litres there or if we've got a bit more available now. I will be going round to the front of this in a minute. There, we can unload that one. Uh, what have I got on there? I got... Oh, I got 50,000 now. Right, well, we've got almost a full trailer load on here. That's going to keep us going very well. The reason that I would consider getting another trailer alongside this one is because I've no idea how much needs to go in for the cows and if we overfill the trailer it's going to take us ages to actually tip it out and put it in for the cows properly. So I don't really know how well we're going to do with that but to start with I'm going to back this one up and underneath and we will see if it works. If it doesn't then we'll just have to get a different trailer and do it. I do have one four-wheel trailer. That one doesn't even fit under the spout, so this one's not an option. So that's, that's made our mind up for us rather than anything else. That four-wheel one over there would be a nice trailer to use, but I don't want to because reasons. Uh, main reason being it's... Oh, no, I don't want to go in there, around there. 
Main reason I don't want to use that one is because I don't want to have to try and back it up under the spout. I've got a reason for keeping that one. And I'd actually like to get a couple more like that. But it's nothing to do with what we're going to do now. What we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the thingy over here. I'll tell you what, before I get too carried away with that, what do we got in here? You're fine. Uh, chicken coop is fine. It's the cows, we've got it right. We're all right at the moment. We've got 11,000 litres of hay silage in there. So they're okay right now, but we do need to keep an eye on them. If we get to about uh, 4 o'clock, I'd say... Um, I meant to drop this thing off on the front. I didn't actually mean to be carrying it round with me. I meant to leave it by the silage clamp. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not supposed to do this, but I, I, I forgot to drop it off, and I don't want—I can't be bothered to drive round the other way. This one can stay beside the silage clamp now. Right, it's, it's plenty late enough. We'll bring that back down to one time speed. This one can stay over here now. There's no point in us carrying it round anywhere else. So if I lower you down there and unhitch you, fantastic. And then I don't need that one until we come back over here and we want to get more silage to put in for our cattle. We're going to be using up the bales before we go taking the hay out of this storage thing here. Um, same, well, there's the, the bales of straw is the only straw we've got at the moment and we have got loads of it. We will eventually not be using that either. We'll be putting everything into the storage area and we'll be doing it through storage. It'd be kind of like the hay storage for the straw, but um, obviously it's a, it's a different silo. I'm thinking that that's going to be the only one that we use. Although, looking in here, 920,000 now. It's counting both of them. It, it is counting all of them, I think. I don't think it's got anything separate. So, uh, anyway, that doesn't matter. I need a trailer. So for this job, I could have just a regular trailer. I don't need anything special. That one, I'm looking at. I'm thinking that would be a good one. He's, he's quite low. Uh, these are definitely higher trailers, so they're less likely to be able to fit in underneath. It's whatever can fit under that spout. I, well, I, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There's something I haven't actually looked at. Over here. All right. Toggle flashlight, next hand, previous hand tool, open product menu. Is there a way to adjust this? Does this have adjustments? Open menu. Productivity is 30,000 litres an hour. Total mixed ration. Fill level 110,000 litres. Capacity, half a million litres on each of them. It's on auto start. So it auto does everything. Right, no, there is... I was wondering if there was a, a height adjustment on there. But there doesn't appear to be any kind of height adjustment. Right, as there doesn't appear to be a height adjustment, we've got to get a trailer that is lower than the one that we were just using, which is under loading wagons... And it's the Stevie version. It's actually... No, it's not. It's that one. That's the one that we're using at the moment. So this is the Stevie version. So what I want to do is... I'll bring that down as low as I can. I can... That's as much as I can zoom in. It, as much as I can... Uh, I'll try zoomed right out on it. Because I'm assuming it'll be the same. And then I'm looking over to the side, and I'm seeing where the top of the trailer is. So we've got one, two, and we just see the third one on there. I don't know if this is any way to be able to, like, run a comparison on the height of something. But I'm I'm hoping it is. So I bring that, like, out, and then I'll zoom out as far as I can. And we've got quite a bit more. So this is definitely lower. But whether it's low enough, that's the big question. And, like, that one there, that one's almost, yeah, that one's about the same height by the look of it. See? About the same height as the other. It's not those that I want. I want one of these types of trailers. I'm going to bring that along. And... Well, this this is what I was originally thinking. Is to go for one of these types of trailers. But something like that. Again, that's, that's going to be too high. That's, that's about the same height as the one that we had. And it doesn't fit. So I can't use that one. 
which means that most of these are going to be ruled out. I mean, we go with something like that, and we could put that on the truck, but that's a bit awkward for getting in and doing the feeding. We're, not, we're never going to be able to tip the thing out. That's, that's the problem with it, is that we're never going to be able to actually back up and tip the thing out so and, like, and, and use it. That's really high. Yeah, that's that's the same as the other one. Right, not you. What about you? Are you are you any different? Nope. Nope, that's that looks to be about the same. They're all they they are all the same height, aren't they? We know that those are lower. That one there is a small a much smaller one, although that doesn't take the type of materials that we want. Neither does that. This does. That's a lot more like it. Now, what about you with the sides on? Those sides make you quite tall, don't they? Hmm. Too tall. Can't do anything with that. Which means that we're going back towards smaller items over here. Uh, that one possibly is low enough. I'm looking at this. I'm... I'm liking the idea of this. Look, there's a full thing different there. That is definitely a lower trailer. Lower down to the ground. It's got 45,000 litres on it, and it doesn't tip up. That's what I was looking at with this Joskin one, is it does tip up into the air, which is going to make life a little bit difficult for us when we come to do the tipping out. This one, however, doesn't do that. So this could be the one that we want. Uh, we'll set up. We will go with the wide tires like that, and we will buy that as $58,000, which I don't have. So we're going to come out of there. We're going to go to here. We're going to go to our money, and I'm going to borrow a lot more money. And take that all the way up to $2 million, because I'd like to buy pigs as well. So if it will let us go to $2 million, that would be absolutely fanschmastic. It does. So we got $2 million in loan. So then I can go back into here and I can go to the trailers and I can go to that bad boy right there. We can take the um, adjusted wheels like that. Buy that. Yes. 58,000. Because this might be a useful grain trailer as well. Um, we're going to be wanting to do something slightly different with grain this year, I think. Um, so we're not going to be wanting the... Um, lorry on the field so using this as a grain trailer this this could be a good alternative this could be the option that we're looking for so take this one here and now we go and we see if it does actually fit underneath that spout if it doesn't I'm going to cry a little bit and then after that I'm not quite sure what we're going to do we'll have to think of something we'll have to come up with some sort of ingenious master plan I won't be buying pigs now. We we do have the money now. We've got loads of money. Uh, but I won't buy them just yet. I will wait until the morning because we need to wait for the water supply to be put in. And then we will go and we'll buy our 50 sows from the market. It's going to be the Yorkshires. That's the ones that we're going to go with because I think they're the best producing ones. Uh, but what about the cows here? How much slurry have they got now? They've got 16. Almost we've got a full load. We've almost got a full load of slurry. By the morning, we'll have a full load of slurry. We may have more than that by the morning. That's, that's a, a fair bit of time to pass by. Right. I want to go in around here. Weave in and out a little bit. And I want to back up in under there. I've got a little flashing beacon on there. I don't know why that's flashing, but um, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's nothing. And I'll bring you around this way. There we go. That goes under. It does go under the spout. Right. And then just go like that. So total mixed. That's what that symbol is. Is total mixed ration. Start. Excellent. Now we're talking. Look at that. Get that all loaded up there. That is absolutely wonderful. We've got a boatload of the stuff coming out. We got loads of room under the spout as well. It all fits exactly where it should. That is looking fantastic. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our mixed feeder. I really like this thing. I like this thing a lot. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We've got it working away there. It's doing a really good job too. Right, let's get this over to the cows. Then we can feed them. I think the chickens would probably be alright for tonight without actually needing anything at all. 
I mean, they might, but uh, I think they're going to be all right. And we come over around here. See, if I could remove the fences, then I'd remove those bits of fences there, between the buildings there. Those I would um, choose to get rid of, I think. And I come down this side. i got a little bit of silage that's left. And I can start tipping that lot out. See, we don't need to worry about the trailer tipping up in the air. So it doesn't cause us any problems like that. How much am I putting in here for these cows? 45,000 litres in one trailer. See, this is why we want a bigger trailer. But the, the trailers that I've... Oh, hang on. I need to go like that. There. Uh, food. 45,000. That's about halfway full. And we've got 191 cows. We can fit 450 cows in this pen. So by the time we actually get all the way up to full, we're going to be needing to do several loads of silage of mixed feed in a day doing it like this, which means that we're going to want a bigger trailer to be able to do this properly. I mean, this does work fairly quickly. A couple loads like this each day. It's not too bad, I suppose. Bring you around here. I just want to, as soon as I get this one back and loading again, we will then just double check the chickens. I think they're all right for tonight. I don't think we need to put anything in for them. But we will obviously go and double check them. I've got some bales of straw over there that I also want to move. So let's bring you and put you under and then start like that. Right, now if I run around this side over to here, we've got, we had 70,000 in there. So we're not going to get a full load quite. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here and I'm going to grab those bales of straw that's sticking out the front of the um, shed there and I'm going to drop those into the mixed feeder and then we'll worry about moving some more of these bales some other time. I'm going to do it now. Right. There's one right there which I'm going to put down there and then I'm going to uh, do that. And I'm going to grab it a little bit, kind of like that there. There we go. Right. That is the perfect way to pick up a bale of straw. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay, maybe <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> There's a reason you should pick your bales up sensibly, because if you do, you don't have things like that happen to them. That one was ended up... It, I know what happened. They both kind of glitched off the forks at the same time. So one of them went rolling, but the other one glitched upwards rather than downwards. Right. It does do some weird things when you're trying to pick bales up sometimes. Right there. See? It's done weird again. If I can just get that to stay on there long enough for me to get over to the feeder. Excellent. There we go. Right, dump those two out there, and then you, we will stop you right there like that, and stop, and then Alt-S to look in here. Chickens, they will be alright until the morning, I think. Water and barley and everything. Horses will also be alright until the morning. So, cows, if I just go and get this trailer load here, I've got 25,000 litres left in there. For a minute, I thought I was dealing with the 90,000 from that one over there. I'm going to put these two side by side. I'm wondering if I've made a hideous mistake with this. Maybe it will load. You just need to go beside it. I mean, look at the height difference in those. So at least I know that one of those big trailers will fit into the cows. But I, like, it, it's going to be one for a full load in for the cows. Like, the, just, just one. The cows have got to be empty to be able to tip the whole lot in there. And that's not what we're going to be having for the most part. For the most part, we'll only be wanting to tip one load in anyway. Um, so now if I look in here, we can see that's coming up very nicely in there. And then we've got a little bit of hay in there anyway, just to like tide us over. But that, not that that's going to make any difference to anything. 89,000 litres in there. They're nicely full. Don't have to worry about them anymore. I can bring you back over this way. I ought really to tidy at least one thing up before we go to bed for the night. He says probably not going to do it. You know, I I, I will. I, I, I am determined to at least get one thing right here. And I'll start 
just ticking time along. I'll put it up to 60 times. I can get this tractor and plow over here. We can just do a quick repair job on those and maybe even get them washed. Let's have a look. I can repair that one there for $130. And then I can repair that one there for $628. Right. Well, there's a good start. And we jump onto you. I'm not going to worry about washing it. I'm going to put it away filthy just as it is. Bring that one back round. I can go to bed now. I've actually... Um, it's gone past... Uh, half past four. And at this time of the year, on this particular season's bio thing that we've got, we are able to go to bed at this time of day. So... At least that's what I've... Uh, well, I think we can. I'm hoping we can. Otherwise, I've just gotten that hopelessly wrong. The plow is not very tidily parked, but it's done like that so that it is completely in, out of the way, and I got no bar sticking out in the front, anything like that. It was completely and 100% deliberate. It absolutely was, and we'll say no more about it. There'll be no doubting. I was. It, it, of course it was meant to be like that. It was 100% it was planned. Let's get some sleep. What are we going to do? What's the ground temperature going to do overnight? It is now minus one degree. We've got thirteen, uh, nearly $14,000 coming in from the livery stable, which is looking pretty good. And let me just go in here and have a look. How are the chickens? Ooh, they're not looking good. Cows, they're looking all right. We need to get another trailer load in for them. And we want to do the water and, and so on and so forth. Horses... Horses are low. They're all right for a minute. I will go and put some more stuff in for them. I just need to keep an eye on those chickens. I want it to get a little bit lighter. And... <laughs> I was told that there would be another surprise when the temperature got cold enough. So I suspected it was this. I suspected that we were going to have frozen water across the lake. We've got a frozen pond, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this. And it's not evenly frozen either. Look, you've actually got some pretty lumpy textures in places, which is very nicely realistic, I might add. Because, yes, very often on a big lake, you will get dead, flat, frozen ice. But if you've got a smaller pond, especially like in the middle, like it is here, it's pretty much dead level. Uh, maybe some slight undulations, but round the edges, it can really be quite rough in places. And that is nicely represented here. I like this. I like this a lot. We have a frozen lake. Wait, let's, let's climb up on here. We can, let's, let's climb up on here. And there, there is my frozen lake. Look at that. That looks absolutely wonderful. I'm very pleased with this. Right. I finished basking in the glory of the frozen lake. So we're going to go wandering over. I realized just that I've had this on dollars the whole time. Um, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, this is Alps Panorama. This this is Europe. We're supposed to be on Euros, really. However, I don't... I honestly, I don't think it matters all that much. Uh, there was one thing I did want to have a look at, so I wanted to go into here. So I I need to go... We need to feed the chickens. They, they need some work. Um, I've got... 6.8 pound chickens there. 7.2 pound ones here, which will do for selling, actually. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. They would do for selling. They'd be quite good for selling. Next animal in 0 0.2 years. So we're going to do all right with that. We've got the total mixed ration in here. It's going to bring things up very nicely soon. The horse paddock over here, we could do the little bit of... Um, well, what we could do with a bit of everything. Uh, the thing I actually wanted to have a look at. We've got 70,000 litres of slurry. So I can get one load of slurry on here. I've actually got enough. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.